So guys, for this video, at the end of it, I have some Q&A that I posted over on Instagram, so I'll be answering some of your guys' questions, and I have some photos that a lot of you really wanted of Lunar Rock versus Cement Gray. So if you guys remember this video, I did a full walk around of my buddy Brandon's 2021 Lunar Rock TRD Pro 4 Runner. Oh, that color looks so, so good in person. But he sent me these photos right here, guys. He parked it next to a Cement Gray Toyota 4Runner. 2017 was a special edition year for this one. And you can really tell how green that the Lunar Rock is compared to the Cement Gray. Cement Gray looks really, really good. It's a fan favorite. So many people like it. But in my personal opinion, I feel like this Lunar Rock just steals the show. It looks... It looks so, so good. The photos aren't the best. It's just in a random parking lot, but you can see how the Florida sun affects both of these colors, some a little bit in the shade. So now guys, let's get into some Q&A questions. I posted over on Instagram that there will be Q&As in tonight's video, but I got a good amount of questions over there. So if I don't answer your question, I may have done a video about it already that you can easily search on my YouTube or someone asked a very similar question. So let's go ahead and get into it. One of the very first questions asked is, have you ever considered adding window visors? I think what they're talking about is the ABS uh, window visors that would go up around the windows. I haven't for that. I do have in my office right now though, the ABS uh, bug deflector that goes on the hood. I tossed that back and forth for a while if I wanted it or not. If not, I was like 50 bucks, buy it, do an install video for it for other people and see if I like it. But to answer your question with the windows, not really, I haven't. The next question is, is do I still run the Raptor lights? No, I don't. Uh, and the reason for that, guys, is personally for myself, if you have them in your forerunner and you love them, hey, all, all for it. But there was just, I don't know. I just, it was a cool thing to do. It looked awesome, but I got so tired of taking the bumper on and off for YouTube videos and having to disconnect the wires and everything. I was just like, I'm done with it, so I, I, I just took them off. How am I liking my spider track spacers? Love them, haven't had any issues, haven't had to get the vehicle uh, realigned, anything like that. Just been rotating the tires, they're still torqued and good, so they're still really good. I get this question a lot actually. What do I think about clear bra film or ceramic coating? If you just bought your vehicle and you have another like thousand dollars to two thousand dollars, definitely do it. For this one, for me, I'm able to paint correct it myself. Whatever scratches I do get in it, for the most part, I'm able to take them off. If you're smart about off-roading, you don't really need it. So personally for me, I'm not gonna spend that money on it. But if you have some extra cash, definitely do it. Huge, huge protection benefits uh, with them, especially like with the self-healing. So of those two, if the prices are close, I would probably do the full PPF uh, film on the vehicle rather than the uh, ceramic coat. Two questions kind of the same, but how am I liking the new head unit and compared to the T9 this weekend? I'll have my one week update video with the DeSeta head unit. I do like it a lot better than the T9, especially for Apple CarPlay. It, it, it does not suck at all. It's very, very good. I am having a little bit of issues with FM radio, but I'm not sure if my antenna is plugged in all the way in the back. Uh, but for the most part, it's been great. I like it. it it's pretty good. Uh, the next question is, any thoughts of switching out my dome lights for the ones from Arclight? Personally, not really. I believe that the Yorkum ones that I used in the very beginning were perfectly fine for how cheap they are. I don't need my whole interior just godly bright. The Arclight ones, I've seen awesome reviews of them. They seem to be really, really good, but I just, the Yorkums are working perfectly fine for me. Another question is, is there a lift in the future for this 4Runner? I, the thing handles perfectly fine for what I do in Florida. I'm not out west with crazy terrain. I think if anything, what I would do for it is when these tires go out, I'm gonna get 285s. And with the TRD Pro uh, extra, you know, little inch that it has with the Bilsteins, should be fine with 285 tires. Um, so that's probably where my lift is gonna come into play is just with uh, bigger tires. Lifts, also I got this question. What is the best lift for smoother, more comfortable daily driver, maybe on a budget? The one that we just put on that fourth gen 4 runner, the Bilstein 5100s with a little stiffer of springs, that way it negates the nosedive, but I thought that vehicle felt really, really good driving prior to that lift going on it, but very cheap lift. I think like five to $700, just depending on what vendor you use, guys. But the Bilstein 5100s, they work perfectly fine. Yes, I would love to review the rig and do a full walk around. That would be awesome, man. So these two questions kind of go together. Uh, will I be keeping this uh, or getting the new Gen 4 runner when it comes out? 
uh, hopefully keeping this and getting the 6th gen, but I'm not gonna lie guys, selling this has crossed my mind a couple times lately, uh, especially after having the 4th gen 4Runner. But as of right now, I plan to have both of them. I know I would never sell this, but after I made that video of how much is this worth, it's kind of been on my mind. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, Mark, asking five questions. What a great guy. Let's go follow Mark's uh, YouTube. He's gonna finally be posting videos over there. Great stuff, great quality, family channel, awesome forerunner, go follow. But Mark asked a few questions. How's house hunting going? Good, frustrating, because of uh, just a lot of things, but going all right. Uh, got any trips planned? Going to Vegas in December, but it's for military stuff, unfortunately. Uh, what's next with the Tundra? Uh, the transmission's still messing up, so figuring that out. It, I thought it was good, and then it got a little hot, and then it slipped a little bit from fourth to overdrive, so still freaking troubleshooting that. And Mark is one of the ones that I vented to a little bit about potentially selling this, and uh, he said, would you keep the 4Runner if it had a V8? That is one of the things that I do love about the 4th gen. It just feels like there's so much torque and so much power and just everything's there. I feel like I would. Um, not that I am selling this, but it's just, I don't know, feels a little bit underpowered and not just all there sometimes after driving other Toyota vehicles uh, that have a better motor, even like the Tundra, it has that same 4.7. I just love that motor. It's uh, very, very good. But if this thing had a V8 or the option for a V8, then yes. I've also been looking at the Lexus uh, GX 460s, which has a 4.6 liter V8 to replace it. I don't know. I don't know, guys. One of the last questions is, what is one plus one uh, for? And then what do you think about rooftop tents? Personally, for me, I don't think anything of them because when I've slept in vehicles or have camped in vehicles, I either had the tent just on the ground or I slept in the actual vehicle because I don't have a whole bunch of overland stuff. It's usually just been for a random weekend and I just have a blanket in the vehicle, have all my other stuff on the side, which you then take outside for the campsite, and I'm protected from cold or bugs, anything, I'm up off the ground. So I, I prefer, personally, just sleeping in the vehicle with some bedding and pillows. That's really what I do. Guys, thank you so much for your questions. I know I kind of mentioned a little bit about selling this thing. I personally don't want to. I can get into that in another video if uh, you guys want. It's more of a real estate and financial video essentially um, but i appreciate all your guys's questions i love this thing i love the tundra i love all my toyota stuff that we have uh very thankful for that but a lot of big things that are happening it's just taking a lot to get all this stuff in motion uh for various reasons but once it does you guys will realize that it was really worth the wait and uh, I, I hope it all, I hope it surprises a lot of you guys. So if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Returning subscribers, as always, I appreciate your support. And I will catch you all in the next video. All right, see you later.